Hi guys, I hope you're uh, all okay. Once again, you're meeting for this beautiful session so far. And uh, my talk today, I want us to have a chat about uh, business data analytics. Yeah, practical paper that uh, is quite interesting, more so in your journey to CPA. So talk about business data analytics. We are uh, all aware or uh, we are witnessing a lot of transformation uh, being done in relation to the same paper, like uh, being a very new paper in uh, CPA, you'll find that uh, changes are always expected, right? Like uh, they also try to see what will fit in, what will align given uh, the nature of the students, given the nature of the market. So we should be expecting a lot of uh, changes in relation to that. I'm talking of this uh, like uh, maybe base it on uh, what was uh, tested in uh, your previous exam. That is just the paper that was done last week, right? Uh, August uh, 2023 examinations. We find that uh, when uh, business data analytics uh, started, basically on the pilot paper, initially they were like uh, theory bit which comprised over 40 then only specific uh, computation which comprised of uh, basically 60 those are the three questions then uh, this was that evolution right uh, the next paper was like uh, we had uh, 40 theory theories like a uh, 40 percent on our uh, section one which was a theory then of the five questions which were literally in practical paper you are required to select either of the three for you to work it out. Then again, there was a change last semester. To, that was actually uh, August exams, whereby uh, the good thing is that uh, these are communication were literally done to the students. You'll find that now how business data analytics is, is that now for theory part, theory part you will be having like 20 questions right each question one mark so that is to say the theory part will be like 20 percent of the entire of the entire hundred percent that we'll be having then now when it comes to the practical part which i'll be sharing with you guys uh, the paper that was done uh, in august uh, this is actually this uh, just last week so you'll find that uh, the 20 percent theory area then the other practical part we have five questions out of these five questions we have the aspect of core areas core areas of business data application that is in regard to financial reporting and in regard to financial management so out of the five questions in this case two questions are compulsory compulsory area or core applications of BDA that is of course in relation to application of BDA in financial reporting as well as application of BDA in financial management then we have three other questions these three other questions will literally cut across the area of specialization or rather the specialized areas in BDA where we will be having taxation we will be having management accounting and uh, of course basically we'll be having auditing so what will happen the first two questions which are compulsory they have been allocated 30 marks 30 marks giving it 60 percent right then the other area of specialization which you are required to only do one question but if you have in time you can do all the questions right no harm so the other uh, basically area of application it is allocated like 20 percent so you'll find that the structure is the first area which is theory 20 percent the first two questions in practical that is question number 21 and question number 22 compulsory which has basically 30 marks 30 marks make it to be 60 percent so we're having 20 percent in theory 60 percent in basically uh, uh, compulsory questions that you need to do in a practical area that will make it to be 80 percent so the other 20 percent will literally 
come from the area of specialization. So that is management accounting, taxation, or auditing. You will be required to do at least one question. So you'll find that there is this evolution that we are, uh, there is this evolution that is basically taking step in each and every, in each and every sitting. So that's why at this point you'll also find that uh, this is also for trainers. I do understand that uh, when this concept was introduced, a lot of trainers basically they were quite, uh, they weren't sure of what they were guiding students. But with this structure, I believe you'll find that uh, trainers should always be expected basically now to understand what they are guiding students, right? So you'll also find that uh, also on the same case, given this structure, therefore, the trainer should also be quite conversant with all areas. We're having financial uh, reporting, we're having financial management, we're having taxation, right? We're having basically aspects of auditing. So, so the trainer, assuming or rather if you are taking the students through uh, basically aspect of uh, BDA, make sure that you're conversant with everything so that at least you should also be giving your students value for what they are, for their paying, for their paying. So make sure that, make sure that you're doing that as trainers. So uh, in this context, basically, I'll uh, wish to invite you guys to our classes, which are commencing as soon as you're ready. We have uh, two packages, literally, for business data analytics, which you can join or you can pick whichever that suits your timing and schedule. Uh, the first, uh, the first uh, package is literally the one that uh, students do basically what? Control their own timetable. And in controlling your own timetable, this will entail aspect of you accessing the recorded version of the classes, you accessing the training materials in terms of Excel, and also you getting what lecturer support while doing you are your training or studies in BDA. So that's our first segment, which ideally we have a very nice package for you, which you'll find that it will be very interesting, right? The second package is literally now the one that you attend classes as per MDRASA timetable. And for those who wish to join live sessions of BDA, we have these classes on Fridays and Saturdays only. Fridays from 7.30 to 9.30 in the evening and Saturdays from 2 to 4 in the afternoon. The second package will literally come with the first package that I've just shared with you guys now. So in this case, I'm inviting you to join our classes. I know our students are our witnesses there. I know also we had a cap. Initially, we had a cap of uh, only, only basically doing what? Only admitting for live sessions. We had a cap of only admitting 20 students. A maximum, actually, uh, that was a maximum of 15. Then uh, we also evolved and uh, we went to admitting a maximum of 20. But we realized that uh, your demand is so high, right? Majority of you. You always wanted to join MDRASA, more so when it comes to matters to do with live session as well. So this is uh, what we'll be doing from this semester. Ideally, we are lifting that cap for the sake of you guys. You've uh, literally requested us to do so. So that's what we'll be doing towards or uh, starting uh, this semester, which for live session ideally will be commencing as from 4th September. So we are lifting that cap like now won't be having a limit of students who are admitted to this practical paper initially we, we had our own reasons and uh, basically we figure it out how we can also uh, do what we were doing when the number was limited to basically 15 so right now we are open to basically regardless of the number that you join uh, we have a system which now will enable us of course give you the quality that you've always given unto you guys and i believe by the end of the day we'll all appreciate so at this point i'm inviting you guys to literally join us for this uh 
a series of uh, training for business data analytics. And I believe as of the end of the day, we'll all be smiling, right? We'll all be smiling. Yeah. So to this point, I'll want us to jump to our business data analytics. And what you are going to do, we are going to start with question number 21. I guide you, I take you through that practical area, what you're expected to do. And from there on, you can also basically compare with what you did, guys, right? So to this point, let us jump to the Excel document and see what you are expected to do in that paper. Thank you so much, guys. See you in class. Thanks. Bye.